I'll show you how to add multiple links in Instagram or TikTok bio or any other social media. Now, unfortunately, you can only place one link in Instagram or TikTok profile page. There is no way around it. But what we can do is when someone clicks on the link in your profile, they will see a page with many links and additional information. This is what people refer to as links in bio pages. And you can link multiple links in one place. The best part is that you have a lot of design templates to start with. Everything works with a drag and drop editor and it's fully customizable. Take sweat punch. <laughs> Hello internet people, my name is Robert and to get started, head to the description of this video and click on the first link. And you land on this page, which is canva.com and this is the tool we're going to be using for this tutorial. So here you can just uh, start by signing up. And then you can choose how you want to sign up. So there's a few different options. I already have an account, so I'm going to log in. And once you've done with the sign up process, you land on this page, which is basically the Canva dashboard. And the cool thing about the Canva is that there's just so many different templates for all your needs in terms of uh, digital marketing and uh, social media. Because as you can see already here, we start with Facebook posts, mobile prototypes, uh, there's all kinds of presentations. You can even uh, create videos and edit them in directly in Canva. Uh, you have Instagram posts and uh, even uh, physical business cards. You can print them uh, with Canva. So it's a super versatile tool for your design needs. But for this tutorial, we're going to create the link in bio. And all we need to do is come to the search and type in bio link. Make sure you don't click on the bio link website because I feel like the templates there are quite bad. Although if you do uh, go with the website route, you can customize the URL. Maybe they will update it one day, but for now I would use just search for bio link. And you get a bunch of options here. You can see there's a lot of templates. Now, some of them are pro templates, so you can only use them if you're, if you have the paid account. So you can filter those out here on the left. You have price. We can select free to start with and you can see that there's still more than 800 templates so you have a lot of different options i would just uh, take a look which structure like maybe some of the elements that you want to reuse and then choose one that uh, fits your style so for example i could go in the, uh, now with this one now it'll open up the editor and just quickly this works with all the templates with Canva. It looks exactly the same. On the left, you have the templates, elements. You can upload the things to Canva. You have the text. And there's also some uh, extra options depending on what kind of a template you have. So, for example, websites, they have one kind of uh, settings. And then Instagram posts have another. So, it really depends a little bit. But you can check what's there. But we're going to just start by going to templates here. If you're not happy with the template you chose, you can also change them here. And updating anything on the screen is super easy. I can just come here, double click on this and type in like this. And then if you want to, for example, this is quite small font. I could increase the font size here on top or I could even uh, change the font if I want to. So the font family. Uh, I usually use Roboto, for example, so I could change that. And then you have also colors here and you can make it bold and things like that. So there's more options here at all for, for the text. And actually for all the elements, so for example, if I choose the image, all the options, extra options for that specific element are here at the top. So let's change also the image so I can come to uploads. I have an image here, but you can just upload a file from here. So you just click on upload and then choose a file from your uh, from your computer. If you want to replace this image, all you have to do is drag your image over this one and you can see now it changed it. And if you're not happy with the background, you can also change it here. Let's say I want to have a bit more like grayish or maybe more more brown. You can play around here. There's also some default colors here and you can also add your brand colors or customize a color that you want. Then obviously, because this is a link in bio, you need to create the links. What's great is you click on this text and then you can select the element behind it. 
Right now it's kind of weird because it has this little circle there. I think I don't want that. So I'm going to take this brown. Okay, so it's this one. And I'm going to change it here to so that it kind of just looks like it's one element. I'll do the same thing for this one. Just change it to the brown one. And this way, it just doesn't look like a, <laughs> I don't know, like a tube or something. So like this, I want to keep it more simple. I can just change the text. Let's say website tutorials. I have to move it a little bit. Now you can see my text is a bit too long. So I'll have to either make it smaller or make the buttons bigger. And I'm actually going to do the button. So I'm going to click on the button and just resize it. I just drag it like this. So I chose the corner, but you can also uh, take it from the side. So it expands like this. Same thing with this one. But now you see they're different sizes. So the easiest way to go around this is to delete the old ones. And you just select the one you have already. And then you press on Alt on your keyboard and drag the element down like this. You can see it copies the same element like this. It's exactly the same size. Same thing. I'm going to do the exact same thing for the other one. Oops. I chose the text like this. And now I have equally sized buttons. Now, I think this one is a bit off, so I can just align them a little bit better. Like that? Nope. Next, let's click on the button here. And then while holding shift key on your keyboard, click also on the text. And if you right click now, you have option to group these. So let's do that. I'm going to change the text here. And also here, I forgot to change these two like this. And I'm going to do the same. So I'm going to click first on the button, then on the text, and then right click on them and group. And the third one as well. So it's easier to start with the button and then the text like this group. And now if we click on this group, we can add a link to it. So if you right click on it, you can see that here you have a link option and you can either uh, link it to a page that's already existing here. So you could have multiple pages. But in our case, that's not true. So I'm going to just link it to my YouTube channel. So here I have my a link. And then I'll just press enter when I'm done. So you see here, link edit. Same thing with my website setup. This is just a link to my website with some information, what I use for my videos and things like that. So again, right click. So select the element and right click and add a link again just gonna add the link here press enter and last one of buy me a coffee is like a way of it's a way for my viewers to support me if they want to give me a tip or buy me a coffee basically they can do it so uh, let's click on that and add the link like this and you can see i use a service called kofi.com it's super nice because people can pay with paypal and their credit cards so if you want to know how to set that up check out the video that will show up in your screen's top right corner right now there i'll show you how to set it up and how to start getting some donation so again i'll press enter to add this uh, url so i have now three buttons that people can click now you see there's these little elements here you can if you're not happy with them you can delete them and if you want to add new ones, you just come here to elements and we can say, for example, lines. You see that you have all kinds of lines here. And we could say, okay, graphic. We only want to see graphic because we're going to add it here. So let's try that. Uh, I don't know. I'll try this one and I'll add it here at the top corner. Something like this. Maybe a bit too big. Like that. And now here at the top, I can change also the color so that it matches the other ones like this. And now you have an element that you can also rotate if you're not happy how it looks like. So for example, something like that makes no sense right now. So let's just delete this one. So I'll click on it. And then there's this trash icon. You could also right click on this element and delete. Okay, let's say you're happy with your link in bio page. You can now share it. So if you click on the share button here, it's a bit unclear because yeah, what's going on? Uh, you can share, copy a link. No, all you have to do here is click on website. And if you don't see that, you can come here to more. And then you have option to website. Click on it. You have few options here in the drop down. 
and i would say just choose the scrolling one i would say that one is the nicest one because then it will work on desktop and the mobile or actually it looks really great on mobile and on desktop it's okay so then you can click on open website and now you can see that the <laughs> the element appears like this and if i click on this url you can see that it goes to my youtube and if i open the other one buy me a coffee it goes to coffee.com i'll close this one and now people can visit this page and you can direct them to the links you want to share so for example if you're talking about certain product more during a month you can put those links here put an image uh, you can even have multiple pages so you could have this longer than just one uh, mobile screen you can have it much longer so that people can scroll through it and if you want to share this now you have this url as you notice it's kind of ugly it's it's very long and you're not able to shorten it i hope they will change this soon but all you have to do is copy this url and then if you open a new tab and you type bit.ly so bitly Just sign up for this service. It's totally free and it's like a URL shortener. So if you're using something else, you can use that. I'm going to log in because I have an account already. And once you sign up or log in, just create a new link here. I'm going to create a link and now enter the long URL. That's this URL. So just make sure you copied it and add it to this field. The rest you can leave it as is and let's create this. Now you could add a title if you want to. I'm gonna uh, name it Tips Lunch LinkedIn Fire Page. And this title only shows up to you, so it doesn't matter. And then now you can change this to something else. So this URL, now you can make it a bit prettier. So for example, I shortened my YouTube channel with the TWP and then bio like this. Let's save it. And now link has been well, edit it, it should be created as well. But now if I copy, you can click it here, copy. Then if you want to add this link to Instagram, just head to your profile, then tap on edit profile and where it says website, add the link we just created. But for some reason, for this to work on Instagram, you need to add a dot at the end. Then just tap on done at the top. And now if you click on the link in your profile, it will open the page we just created. It's fully functioning mobile page. I can just click on the URLs here and they open up. This is my YouTube channel, good. And the other link also works, goes to Kofi. Now that you have a beautiful link in bio page, how about getting some donations from your followers by asking them to buy you a coffee? I'll show you how to do that in this video right here. I get about 40 to $60 of donations every month this way.